Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about functional blocks of IoT. So the major functional blocks of IoT consists of application, services, communication, device, management, as well as security. Okay. Now let's see all these functional blocks with respect to the Internet of Things. First, coming to a device. So uh, an IoT system comprises of devices that provides sensing, actuation, monitoring, and control function. Okay. So uh, the devices of IoT will be mostly integrated with the sensing technology with the help of several sensors. Actuation, it can be an output modules like motors, okay, gate systems, or some output devices which does some work, or it can be anything, okay. So with the help of the sensors, the input will be taken and later it will be processed through the internet and uh, it will be given with respect to the actuation like controlling a motor or controlling a uh, electrical appliances or it can be anything, okay. And not only that, it a device will, with an IoT comprises of monitoring as well as controlling the function. As I have already said, switching on and off several appliances, these are the basic examples, okay? Now, coming to the communication uh, with respect to the functional block of IoT, it hang, handle communications with the for the several different types of IoT system, that too with the help of protocols. In the coming classes, we are going to see what are the different types of protocols as well, okay? And coming to the services. So the IoT system provide various services with respect to the internet of things, such as we can monitor the through a device, we can control through a device, we can also see several uh, data services and for uh, uh, several device discovery. We can also find out the devices like uh, uh, vehicle tracking, fleet tracking, or we can also use some sort of uh, uh, global positioning system. And also we can have some data transfer services as well, along with monitoring and control services. These are the major services integrated in the services functional block. Coming to the management, okay. As we have already said, management functional block is one of the important block where it takes care of all the uh, control, monitoring, input uh, devices, output devices, everything, okay. So it, it is somewhat like it governs the whole IoT system with the help of management functional blocks. And coming to the security, security nowadays plays an important role as we are using now these devices or manipulating these devices using internet, right? So um, functional blocks of IoT need to have a, a taken important step in providing authentication, authorization, and content integrity as well as data security, okay? So they need to provide some sort of authentications, authorizations in the form of OTPs or some passwords, and also they should uh, protect our data, whatever getting processed, and the security plays a key role in the Internet of Things. Okay, so coming to the applications, so IoT nowadays has placing a very much major role in the applications with respect to the functional blocks of IoT. So IoT application provide interface that users can control as well as monitor with respect to several aspects of IoT system, okay? Not only that, the user can view the uh, device or the system status and also analyze the process data, okay? So, so the user can have the complete access. He can monitor, he can manipulate or control, or he can analyze the process data, okay? You can see the all the sensors data, how it is, uh, taken time to time and whatnot, okay? So almost all the functional blocks are interlinked and interconnected and plays an important role with respect to this internet of things, okay? Management, security, services, communication, device, as well as application, all these functional blocks plays an important role with respect to internet of things. Thank you.